forward to cyberpunk for the last like three or four years since i last heard of it and um basically this is the first time i've loaded up the game um i've gone through some of the menus just as i do and even with the menus i was like really excited about it because they have accessibility settings they have specific accessibility settings and that is very rare for a game I see these days and I love that they have um, basically included that so basically all I've done is open up the screen and the menu so I'm hoping to like explore it as we go along basically I'm not sure how long I'm gonna uh, play for it's like three minutes to six here and in theory I should start work at eight and all I need to do is start work is switch literally just switch laptops but um yeah i want to end the stream a little bit before that unless i get really carried away so i'm going to really explore in this journey and what i just wanted to say is before i basically um get into the game or do anything is that because i was so excited about the concept and the art of this and everything um i've tried to avoid any sort of gameplay features or exploratory stuff in the um sort of as previews or pre-releases or watching anyone else play it because uh as in life if you aren't disappointed if you don't have any expectations then you're not going to be disappointed and generally that's how i kind of try to explore life but even just loading up the game and going to the settings menu because it is one of the first things i tend to do in games is um is basically um even that has me excited and the only um i guess the only um sort of um i don't know whatever you, i guess spoiler is for lack of a better word i've seen is that it is primarily in um first person which not gonna lie i was a little bit disappointed about not because of um anything else but um mainly because i get motion sickness if i play for too long in first person i even find that when i played skyrim which i've got quite a few hours on that i can't play for too long so it just really depends how long i can go until i feel sick but as there might be something in the settings that we can explore because i mean they have accessibility settings and even that is a really nice thing to have so as you can see i've gone through some of the menus already i like that you can use either numbers or um basically you can use um base numbers or you can use the mouse which is generally a lot easier for me i use like a trackball mouse that has um a thumb trackball so you don't move the mouse um the trackball is uh right hand specific so i use the um my thumb to move the trackball so that makes it easier for me so and generally where there are things that i can um basically um play um i guess there are basically um i guess where there are things which is as customizable as possible without going away from the complete i'm always on board for that as in life as in anything so you can see we're currently on the sound preference at the moment we're on studio reference which i guess is the default it says audio prefets for various speakers well, i'm gonna leave that one like that just for now because um what i don't want to do is change it too much but what we will see is just um how uh what i will do is disable copyrighted music because um generally i might upload this to youtube after or even on my stream and just in case i mean i might be missing out on some things possibly um 
but we shall see and even subtitles they put in the sound and these were on by default I didn't even have to turn them on so you can have subtitles that are cinematic on and that you can have overhead on as well which I really like most games you actually have to turn the subtitles on um, basically um, manually like they're never on by default we've got controls here which seem to be about mouse controls from what i can tell i do at the moment i am just playing with my pc setup i do have a controller i can switch to if i work out that'll be easier later on but um for now i'm gonna try with the um general base settings and see how far we get on the only thing i think i would change is maybe in key bindings once we get to that point is i have a feeling the default moving may be wasd and because that's on the left hand side of the keyboard my left hand side is um very much um shall we go with less responsive than my right hand side so that generally means um basically um my reaction times are a lot slower like i can tell in my brain like my brain goes oh yeah you need to move this hand but then my hand doesn't move as quickly so that may be the only thing i may change from the default everything else i'm gonna leave as is here and then as we play uh, i may have to adjust them so we've got gameplay now so accessibility Ooh, they've got that as a heading so we've got aim assist on as standard which can i like i like that the accessibility settings are on as standards that is rare in anything even in like web development application development you generally accessibility tends to be an afterthought for most people and in here they've turned it all on a standard because if you think about it if you don't have any accessibility needs it's a lot easier to um basically um turn off settings whereas if you do have some accessibility it might be um more than likely that um you'll um have to struggle at some point to um turn the accessibility settings on so i really love that approach but i guess i can't expect anything less from this studio so let's have a look again i'm gonna um leave these as is for now just to see um how we get on um graphics okay let's scroll up so uh, my quick preset apparently this is based on um my um hardware i'm guessing is on ultra i guess that makes sense i have a dell g317 gaming pc it's got a um, nvidia uh, 1060 gtx and it's got an a generation i7 um processor and i think at the moment i'm only at base ram which is 16 gig but i think i can up it to like a crazy amount like 64 not that i'm going to spend that much too much on memory at the moment um so yeah we've got quick prefix it's ultra and it's done um based on those settings again i'm not going to change these unless um gameplay is specifically slow or laggy or anything like that or if something from an accessibility point of view um, means that I would need to change it so if we go to video so monitor select your primary monitor to display the game oh I like that because um, at the moment I'm just using two I'm using my laptop base screen and my um another monitor was well, technically actually it's my tv to view the um twitch studio chat and things like that so i can see things at the same time but i also have like three other monitors available to me if i could be bothered to go to my desk and play this whereas at the moment i'd rather play this on the sofa under a duvet uh don't worry about overheating i've got fans and the laptop and it's on a plank 
piece of wood a flat surface so hopefully that should be enough again we'll leave everything as default language english 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 yep i mean i can barely speak english sometimes but it is my native language interface oh colorblind modes these are things i love as like i'm an application and a web developer but because of my disability i'm um kind of really interested in accessibility like it's primarily part of my job description as well but these are the different types of uh, colorblind modes so some i can't remember exactly i may be getting them wrong but there's like three of them one of them is to remove uh, the red and green aspects from your screen the other is to um basically um remove um the sort of um purpley bluey colors and then there's this one this one kind of if you use correct filters to test accessibility kind of puts things into gray scales if you need to but at the moment i don't think i need these unless um such as um for example i know in um fallout 4 you can customize the hud to a different color and i didn't know that for a little while and I, it may have been a mod, maybe. I can't actually remember. I haven't played a um, modded Fallout 4 for a little while. But basically, um, yeah, um, when I found out you could change the HUD, it made aiming a lot easier for me. And I guess not many people would spend time um, in the settings but for me it's an important place to start for gaming because if i start playing a game and then realize oh i can't do this because it's over this side of the keyboard or oh it's too quick or the button's too far away for me to move that quickly then um it's gonna make it slightly less enjoyable for me because i'll get frustrated that i keep losing or keep getting shot or something like that and then in that perspective um yeah basically i um yeah i kind of want to use this as a blank sheet i've tried to avoid all things to do with it obviously i know some stuff the overall um archering story the type of gameplay i know all that but i've tried to avoid any like preconceptions or anything because i've been so excited for this for like three four years since i heard it ever existed and um yeah even um yeah i'm just trying not to so now we've got key bindings so we've got brain dance don't even know what that means but i'm hoping if we keep scrolling so move forward that it has got w S A D. I don't think I'm going to be able to play with it, especially now because it is quite cold in my house and my hands are slightly crampy. So what I might do is that these are the only things I'm going to change by default. Oh, binding failed. Why? Binding failed. Am I using the mouse where or does it not let me play with those ones? That would be really disappointing if it doesn't because... I mean, I do have the controller option, but it seems, why can't I use like the up arrow? Up arrow, binding failed. Is it just that specific button or is it the other ones? Okay, so that's slightly a little bit of disappointment. I cannot change from W, S, A, D to the arrow keys, which may be a problem for me. I'm going to try and play a little bit. Uh, otherwise, I'll have to pause this, go dig out my controller, and then hopefully that will um, make the um, experience a little bit better for me. But... Um, yeah i just basically want to see um yeah i am a little bit disappointed by that not gonna lie because wasd or sad whatever you want to call it because i don't use it that often it might be difficult and it doesn't look like I can, I can override it with the arrow keys. Maybe I can override it with the num keys so I could use 8, 4, 5, 6 with 8 being forwards and 5 being backwards. That might be an option later. But again, that might be something to get used to. Maybe if they're looking for feedback, maybe you can have a 
uh, I need to override these keys because my left hand doesn't work properly and I want to use my right hand type thing but we'll see I guess um yeah I'm not gonna let that get to me too much because uh, I want to play this so okay I think we've pretty much left everything as default so hopefully now if we do the new game button select difficulty well i am really really bad at games so we're always gonna go for easy and i am very much uh, a sit back and enjoy the story kind of person i very much get into the role play aspect and the story rather than um the challenge of combat maybe this will be something later but i'm always gonna start on easy because i'm not very good at games but i enjoy them so yeah and I think it's nice that um, you get this option at first, like normally, if I remember from Skyrim, you um, basically, Skyrim, um, um, basically, um, I think the default mode was normal and then you had to move it down, whereas I always like games which allow you the choice, so if we go for easy. New resident database. Select V's life path. Some events and dialogue options in the game will be different depending on your choice. Will it tell me about them if I scroll over? Nomad. Roaming and badland. Roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity and a love of freedom, qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount of money can buy. Sounds like a nice game mode. I like the fact that this is um, very like, even um, when you first went to the menu screen, it's a breaching, so it's very much like you're going into the game. I guess that's why they got Keanu Reeves to do some of it, because it's very kind of matrixy slash um, John Wick, if you think about it, because technically he's a mercenary and there's a lot of violence and death in this game, I assume. So where have we got now? We've got street kids. They say if you want to understand the street, you got to live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong the only law in night city you have yet to break Ooh, okay corpo few leave the corporate world with their lives fewer still with their souls intact you've been there you bent the rules exploited secrets and weaponized information there's no such thing as fair game only winners and losers not gonna lie, it's the last one that opposes, <laughs> that kind of appeals to me the much for me because uh, physically in my life I can't do a lot of these things that these could do but I am good with data, I am good at collecting data and like writing dates down and saying hey, on this date you said this thing so don't tell me why haven't I got it done yet because you added 27 requirements in after you've um, the initial thing I wrote it all down I wrote down what you say so this one seems like much like me it's better like you're weaponizing information so I think I want to go with that one I think that would be um, very much how I would like to live in this world because I know in theory this is cyberpunk so you get um, basic mechanical replacements so maybe physical disability isn't a thing but even so, yeah, I think Corpo is the one I want to play the most. Select a body type. These appearance may sometimes affect the behaviour of other characters. Ooh, I like the inclusive Inclus inclusivity is that word that's what i mean how inclusive it is because it doesn't say male or female you just choose the body type you don't have it doesn't label the gender or anything so i kind of like that i really do but uh, i'm gonna play as a female 
for the female body type, I guess, or this one, because that's what I choose to identify as. And I'm also a lesbian, so looking at pretty women, even if they're video game characters, is appealing to me. So let's do that. <laughs> Ooh, come on, let's play. Ooh, customization. Don't I love customization? So we've got presets down here. What do these let us do? So this is the first one, so we've got sort of shaved head. Other characters will refer to V with the female pronouns, i.e. she, her. Ooh, I like that. It does specify at the top. Does that mean that maybe there isn't an option to, um, um, basically there isn't an option to, um, maybe just have a pronoun of like they on them? or whatever I, it's hard to code in so many different varieties of identify ident words brain engage thank you uh, of like identification or how people identify um because um there's only so many things you can stick in an array there's only so many possibilities and you're always gonna miss something out and in things like this even in smaller code projects, what you don't want to do is do one small change and break the whole thing. I mean, in theory, testing should do that, but you can never really get users <laughs> to sign off on testing. So let's have a look at this other preset. This lady here, I recognize from my desktop background on my work laptop, because it was one of the, um, I guess it was one of the, um, it, she was like a feature in it. She had like the gun and was hiding behind a wall, that kind of thing. So it's basically, yeah, I recognize her. So then we've also got this preset. I do like the range in skin tones they've done on the preset too. Um, I don't particularly like, um, I'm not particularly a big fan of, um, ticking boxes for the sake of being all inclusive or ticking boxes oh we've got to have this we've got to have a lesbian character we've got to have a gay character i want them to fit in naturally like like they do in the world i guess i don't want ticking boxes exercise i guess that's a personal thing for me because i guess um from a diversity point of view in a workplace i take quite a lot of um diversity boxes and what i don't want to be is just like a higher as a tick box exercise i want to be a higher for my skills and my worthiness i don't want to be higher just because i'm a woman just in a technical field i don't want to be higher just because i'm a woman who's a programmer i don't want to be higher because i'm a disabled woman i don't want to be higher because i'm a disabled lesbian woman it's not really i don't want to be a tick I want to be valued for my own skills and needs like there are some um I guess there are some um circumstances where I will go against not against it but I will waver on my standpoint on that is the fact that there are some things that you want to hire disabled people specifically for or specific identity characteristics characteristics for for example um just because i can't think of another example at the moment is google have a general like accessibility user experience team where they purposely hire a range of different people with a range of different needs so that they can make sure that their software whatever they're producing will be access accessible to um those um basic people i guess basic people no that's not what i meant those um people and it doesn't have to be an afterthought it's always inclusive like things have to go through that okay and um, what's this last one? Oh, it's all, just all pixely but i kind of like it i like the purple hair and i like the gash in the face i might start with this preset here or maybe uh, this one, just as the, no, I'm going to start with the base one and build on top. Um, I will warn you now that I'm very much into building um, like pretty characters. Um, 
because um, I don't know, it just entices me to play more in the game if I can follow a character around that I am attracted to. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but yeah, okay, so we've got voice tone. I'm V. Ooh, okay. I'm V. Ooh, I like that. I'm V. So you can choose the um, male or female sort of body type, but you can change the I'm voice v. tone. But I'm going to play as a with female pronouns, I think. What's this one? Ooh, you can actually select it. And I am liking, at the moment, I'm only playing this with, say, the mouse. I am currently not using the keyboard, though that may change in the future. Can I change the angle of her head? Apparently Q rotate. So I have to use the keyboard for that, but that's not too bad. Oh, and I can apparently scroll or something, but maybe I'm on the wrong setting, so we'll do that. Skin type. What have we got here? This one's the never like a pointy selecty thing, but you can choose like body features or like freckles or things like that, which I kind of like, I'm not gonna lie. So I've just cycled brown, so this is the first one. Second one, third one, fourth one. I guess fifth one, one. I guess I, what I actually like the most, I guess, is the base one from this preset. So I'm going to go with that one, I think. Uh, hair colour. Well, we want to do hairstyle first. So we're currently on 34, which is kind of the shaved head look. Um, but we'll cycle through. What I might do, I know this may be really annoying, is change the hair colour first because then I know what I want to look at and then base the style on that. Uh, again, I'm quite gothic so I think I will either go with something black or red unless I can do some sort of weird two-tone thing where I can put black and like pink at the bottom because I used to have that in my hair, not gonna lie. I used to have, ooh, not gonna lie, like that. So that one's just there. Look at the detail on that. You wouldn't think of doing that. So what else have we got here? So you like pinky? Oh, not gonna like that, like that too. Ooh, I really do like that. Let's see what else we've got. Because this is the two-tone ones. I think what I'm going to go for for now is the typical, like, black hairstyle, I guess. So I prefer this one. You can do, like, a weird whitey green colour, but I do like this one more. It's fun, huh? I'm thinking it may be, like, um more of a customizable option later so hopefully we can change it in game obviously we might have to pay for that kind of thing like with in-game currency in night city the looks are everything <laughs> yeah kind of what makes sense for like this sort of thing so now we'll go back to hairstyle i wish i do wish just for um accessibility reasons to tie on this maybe the hair had one of these selections on too rather than um oh maybe it will if i click on it no okay it doesn't that was some weird clipping there was it i don't know maybe it's not clipping maybe it's just oh it's not clipping it's just a weird hairstyle okay <laughs> So let's, uh, now I'm going to use the um, keyboard just to cycle through the hairs because the mouse button gets tired after a while. But having like this for the hairs, I guess it may be too many to tile. That may be the thing. Um, Would have made this easier so you can just select from a list. Kind of like that, not going to lie. I, I do realise that my little white mouse icon is still showing on the screen but I can't be bothered to change it at the moment and it's not really too annoying if it gets too annoying during gameplay then I will uh, sort it out but for now can't be bothered so again we're cycling through we're now on 14 it looks like there's around 40 hairstyles from the numbers if I can guess correctly I don't know what kind of hairstyle I want. Let's keep looking. I do like the punk cyber look, the goth look. Ooh, kind of like that, not gonna lie. 
So 26 might be a good one. Let's cycle round on these. I always need to remember to cycle um, towards the back on some of these because they have put a lot of detail into the hair. So, so we do want to make sure. I do like that too. I like the simplicity. 34, so we're back. 35, 36, 37, 38. What I liked the most out of all this list in cycling through them is that one with the little one um, where it was an updo. Um, oh, that one was si 16 or 21 or something. <laughs> um, I normally have a better memory than that, but at the moment. Uh, fatigue and pain is killing me. Just now we'll go to hair colour again just to check if any of these look any cooler. I'm not sure if I actually like this hair or not. It's too sort of, I don't know, it looks like it's got too much gel in. Do you like the red though? Yeah. I'm going to go with the base black, but I might again just cycle through the hairstyles one more time just to see if there's anything. I do like that, not going to lie. I normally don't do updos in games because you can't really tell sometimes. Sometimes they look bold from the front if you put like a hat on, but um, yeah, I might do that for now. But yeah, for now, we'll change some of the other stuff. And then, um, basically, see, we're on 12 at the moment for this preset, so we've got... Let's just cycle through the eyes. I do like the eye colours as well, like, it's got a very much, it's got very much, like, a, um... I don't know, it's very much got a glistening to it. Ooh, you can put all these in there. That's kind of cool. I can make myself a vampire, which I'm always inclined to do. Do they have like a black eye? Because I think that would be kind of cool. Ooh, we could be like, that's more like Vampire Diaries vampire, isn't it? Skulls in our eyes. Ooh, I like the possibility that in this world you can just change your eyes. <laughs> it's kind of like from Coraline. Put crosses in your eyes, little hypnotized thingies. You can have more computerized eyes, which I really like that one. Not gonna lie. This one would be, I guess this one here would be more at home with my actual eye color. Or I can do something with the red, which I kind of like too. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna go with the red for now, just to see how this plays. Eyebrows. I never really mess around. Oh, you can turn them off. Cool, I like that. So you could sort of come up with a background, which was like. Don't want it too thin. I care of colour, I want that to match the hair, because. I mean, I don't dye my eyebrows when I dye my hair, but even so, I want them to be reasonably the same colour. So now we've got nose. I do like the piercing in there. Like, I've got... I have a nose stud in that exact position. I don't have a ring because I'd, I'd bump into a lot of walls and bounce off them and face plant them. Not for fun, just because that's how I walk. So, um... Yeah, just to see. Uh, not gonna lie, I kinda like that one. Mouth. You can make it bigger, smaller. I, I'm not really playing around too much with the presets because I do like that kinda... Yeah, kinda like that one. And then you can play with ears. Cyberware is off. What happens if we turn it on? Ooh, it looks like, ooh, I like that, that's really cool. So you can basically have it look like... I like that, kinda, but I kinda, in a weird way, wanna put it off for now, and hopefully that means, like, at 
during game we can add it and then it will add to our face uh, facial scars off okay ears I don't really want to change the ears you can't really see them uh, so we've got face tat let's have a look at the scars always play with the scars because that adds to like the background history doesn't it not gonna like, I like that, kinda like that too, kinda like that too. But I wanna do off for now, I think, just to see. So now we've got facial tattoos we can add. Ooh, look at the spider, I like it. I guess I know I played as the corp, so I don't wanna be too out there, but again, I don't know what this corporation is kinda like. So you can add the ones on the neck and the face. I do like that it adds the details to the neck too. So you're not just facing yourself from the... So we're back towards the beginning again. I kind of want something little. But I can't see anything. Which... Is this one covered by the hair? Looks like it might be. But it might be subtle. I kind of do like that. So we can have piercings. Let's see... That's kind of a lot. My ex used to have piercings like that. Can't see these ones. My oh, it's on the ears. I've just realised. Maybe I don't know. I can't see some of these. So one we've got a little hoop. One we've got the eyebrows, and we've got a set of both. Like that. I did like the subtlety of it before. Just the little hoop. Mm, there, because it's very similar to the one I've got. Teeth. You can have zero teeth. <laughs> one teeth. Gold teeth. Rose gold teeth. That's something you want to ask at the dentist, isn't it? Rose gold teeth. Um. I just want the base teeth, I think. Even those don't look that good. They look like they could chew through barbed wire. Eye makeup. It's currently off. Oh, do you love me some eyeliner? If we can base something just around so we can have like a smoky eye look. Kind of like that. I kind of would like that. So we'll just do black. Yeah, not sure if I like that anymore. So this is off. Then we've got... I'm hoping you can add more during the game. Because I don't know if I want to add them. I kind of like that. Might change our eyes. So then they're, they're less. And then we've got lip makeup. So we can have some sort of... Ooh, go and prop it off now. So we can have two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You can have the bottom. Hmm. I kind of like that, not gonna lie. Let's see what the colours are that might give us maybe um, whether we want to use it. I don't think I do, though. No, I don't really like that, so I might turn it off. But we'll see what this kind of gives us. I kind of want more colours for this to work. But yeah, I don't like the lip makeup. So if we turn that off. That's the one I like the most, but the range of colours here is not something I like. Like, I'd want something slightly more darker than that, but not in between that. Like, out of this, I like the black the best, I guess. But, um, yeah. I'm going to turn the lip makeup up off for now. That's the word I meant. Cheap makeup. Apparently that's got on because I can see like the contour there. Oh, so even the freckles are kind of part of the makeup blemishes. So that's currently these. I am. Um, let's see what else we can put on there. And I do like that you don't have just a clean skin look. Like it is kind of patchy, which is kind of more natural. That I kind of like blemish colors. Ooh, nails. I didn't put the nudity filter on. I think it maybe I should have now, but we'll see. Nail colour. Do love me some nails. Black. Black is default for nails. Do kind of like that though. I might go back and turn the nudity filter on <laughs> because I'm a prude. 
I'm gonna go with the black for now. Oh, I'm gonna do short, long, short. I do like short. Short is kind of more um, I don't know whatever you call them, practical. I am liking how she's starting to look. Chest small, default, big, small. I kind of like the default. Not gonna lie, it's kind of in the middle. You can choose to have them off, small, big. I kind of like the idea of off if I'm gonna lie, so I might do that. Body tattoos. Ooh, that's a lot. I don't want. I don't know if I want like a lot of tattoos or just some. Hoping maybe you can add them in game. Currently they're off. Okay. Out of all of these, out of all the options thus far. That one is the one that I like the most, but I might turn it off. I don't want to go to, um, I guess, detailed. And then we've got body scars. Let's see what we've got on here. I can't actually see that one. Maybe it's around the back. Yeah, it looks a bit like Lucifer when he's taking his wings off. And I do like the gash there. I have a similar gash there from where I fell out my own car into a van bounced off that van through my face back into my own car and then back off my car into my that other van again so we've got two options for body scars genitals are either on or off i i, I like i said i think yeah i'm gonna go oh i like the customization like i'm not gonna use it but i do like that you can turn it on and off so Yeah, I'm liking how she looks for now. Yeah, I think if we go back up to face and hair and eyes, I think I want to change the eyes. And then we're definitely looking at like someone to play with, I guess. Eye colour, that's what I want to change. So we've got... Again, I'm kind of leaning towards that. I really like the mystery. Day. And it goes with kind of the corp option that we um, followed. So yeah, maybe do that. Close this and just if there's anything else we want to look at. Can we maybe save our preset? That would be a nice option because then that way if I start a new game. Because if I completely mess up then I don't have to do the um, thing again. What I will do is then to next character well, word character skills. Each attribute contains a set of skills. Ow, I just moved my kneecap. Um each attribute contains a set of skills. Both attributes and skills provide different bonuses depending on your style of play. Skill levels increase as you perform activities associated. The maximum level of skill is limited by the level of the attribute that that belongs to. So we've got seven available. So we've got body determines your raw physical power in addition to allowing you to force open doors. Each level of body starting from level three will do all those things. Okay, so then we've got intelligence. Intelligence determines your net running proficiency. Every level of intelligence will increase cyber deck RAM capacity 5.4%, increase quick hack damage by 0.5%, and increase quick hack duration by 1%. Reflexes determine your maneuverability <laughs> in addition to increasing your overall movement speed. Each level in reflexes will increase your passive evasion from enemy attacks, increase crit damage, increase damage from mantis blades by three. Technical ability represents your technical know-how. It will allow you to unlock doors and use tech weapons. Each increase in level will increase your armor by 
cool determines your resilience, composure and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will. I kind of like a stealth gameplay. I am more of a stealth player. So I might put a few and I want to put, as we're playing, kind of as a corp person, we want to put one into technical ability and intelligence reflexes. Not sure I want to do anything with those and then we'll add one to body just because I don't like leaving that as default. I'm gonna see if I can maybe take a screenshot at this point. Um, let me just, um, I'm gonna have to get out of the game just a minute onto my other screen so I can unpin something and then I'll get back into it. So then, yeah, I'm hoping maybe I can take a screenshot of, because this is what I'd like to do as like a, um, I don't know what you call it, like a, um, a thumbnail for the video. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully I've taken that there. So now we've allocated all our points. So we're six in cool, five in technical ability. Three in reflexes, I want to leave that as base. Intelligence at four. Might move one from there and put it in there. So we're sort of equal level at these three things and then the other two are slowly behind. Which makes more sense if I think the corp is going to be what I think it is. So yeah. Summary. So begins your journey, your story into Night City, alias B, backstory, Corpo. Few leave the corporate world with their lives, few are still with their soul intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets, weaponized information. There's no such thing as fair game, only winners and losers. Got, um, four on body, five on intelligence, three on reflexes, five on technical ability and five on cool. I might do a screenshot here too, just to um, basically, because I think this would make a good thumbnail, so hopefully if we'll pause on this screen at the moment, you can't actually see what I'm doing, but if I paste, then um, we've at least got um, a screenshot I can use for the thumbnail at a later stage. <laughs> Okay, so I think I want to confirm that, and I like the little fingerprint thing, that the fingerprint and identity thing there is still a thing. Ooh, Cyberpunk 2077. And this is the loading screen, I'm guessing. Yes, it's the loading screen, you can see it in the top right hand corner. Yeah, so I guess in this part, which we're like nearly uh, just over 45 minutes into, we've done basically the character generation, accessibility settings, and things like that. And then um, we'll get a little bit into the game. And then I think I will finish for today because I've left myself as a good start. Like the minute I finish work later, which is in about... Uh, probably eight hours or if I remember to leave on time <laughs> even though I'm now working from home I still forget to leave um, or uh, maybe nine if I'm getting around that depending on what's happening then I can play again a little bit later and I'll be all set with my character and what V in this case looks like so yeah we'll play a little bit into the gameplay and then we'll work out from there. We'll just see what it's like. We'll get to like maybe past the tutorial or I assume there's got to be some sort of tutorial or introduction and then I think that'll be a good place to stop. Ooh, look at that. She's got a really cool jacket on. You may not have seen in the menu screen because I am um, incoming call answer. I can just click and it will answer. You there? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. You all right? <clears throat> Fine. <clears throat> I just needed a breather. Sounded like you blew your guts airlock. 
That's how I people barfed. normally sound. Require immediate attention. Heart rate elevated. Contorsal level. You can cycle through dialogue choices with Q, scroll up and down. Nah, you're alright. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna leave you hanging. Everyone's a critic. Not dead yet. Or somebody turn coat. I'm gonna go with not dead yet. How do I select it? Hey, you all there, V? Nah, we're not there anymore. We just left. Don't worry. There we go. I'm I had to press yet. enter for that exactly. one. I am liking the yet. interaction. Like anyway, it's not restricting me to on? a specific level. There's some guy in the mirror. Is there a problem? Is he about to kill us? It looks like something we you do in a bathroom. Week. My boss called, dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, <laughs> if you work in Arasaka Counter Intel, I do like you're always fucked. I'm gonna try and not and speak over the dialogue. Stan gotta go. Stan, don't worry about me. I think don't worry about me sounds nice. Like I don't know the relationship between these two, are. but it's got sort of like a nice sort of name, and obviously they're on call numbers. So yeah. Don't worry I, about I me. I like that when I'll you don't respond, me. he goes talk to me. I'm just sort of, we could just not talk to him all day. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. Yay! I'm really excited. First time in Night City. Pay close attention to the to to the tutorials and learn how to read <laughs> to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you've already an experienced edge runner, I'm guessing nobody may be in that situation unless like somebody's got early release and have just um, done a 48 hour run not moving um, or if you're already an experienced edge runner feel free to disable hints go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials as well as to read up on the most important topics of cyberpunk continue move with WASD and use this to look around okay so our task is to leave the bathroom I'm just gonna see if uh, it would let us, yeah, okay, no, okay. So our task is to leave the bathroom and we can look around. Can we see ourselves in the mirror? No, I'm guessing not. So you can like flush things. Maybe that might be a good thing. We don't want to leave evidence of drugs. Yeah, might do that. Can we do it to all of them? Or <laughs> just flood the bathroom? <laughs> Well, we like Moaning Myrtle and Harry Potter. Okay, I've got to get used to this sort of play. So, I'm guessing it's like F to interact. I always explore areas before, um, okay. Uh, are you alright? Yeah, I was until I saw you. Let's close it again. Can we do anything to them? Can we talk to them? I don't know. I can't talk to them, but they're also doing drugs in the bathroom, so who cares? <laughs> um, I do like that at the top, you've got like a um, a basic sort of, um, it tells you the status, so it says contorsal levels elevated, five pending notifications from quantify satori, oh okay. I am getting used to the WASD thing, but uh, it'll just depend. What's this? I don't know what these things are. I always like exploring places. I like going into the distance before doing anything else. Can't see ourselves in the mirror. I guess that would be more graphics than it's worth, but we can open this door and leave the bathroom. Okay, so we know this is a place where you can do drugs in the bathroom. Head to Jenkins' office. Okay, got the map. Active job objectives are marked with the exclamation mark on your HUD and mini map. Okay, I've noticed. Always do an explore. We always see if there's anything we can um, basically pick up. I always do this in games, even if I don't know the objectives. 
In theory, we should go this way, but I don't want to. I want to see what everything is. I just want to see Family of Empire. Can we take this? We'll read it first and then we'll see if we want to take it. The legacy of Arasaka needs no introduction. The Arasaka Corp Corporation is one of the world's most powerful, with offices located in every major metropolis across the globe. For years, it has beha been behind the proverbial wheel of our planet's economy and society. The history of Arasaka in Night City is deserving of its own article, but it's sufficient to say the media industry in our city follows the family behind the megacorp as closely as they do the share prices. The story of Arasaka's family is one of an empire, a true dynasty under the rule of the patriarch Saburo Arasaka, rumours of the great Sapporo's retirement and secession of company control, as well as its closely guarded secrets to his daughters, Hanako and son Yorinobu, have come and passed in recent years, but has the time come where such rumours may finally gain truth? Our sources report that the Yorinobu is currently in Night City, but not for a social call, and yet, if he is strategizing a move for the throne and what of Hanako. Experts who follow the family closely who managed to do that due to identical differences between Saburo and Yerunabo Hanako will likely will likely cement himself as the one true heir to immerse the fortune and power of the family. I'm not going to read these ones out loud anymore because I've realised I can't read out loud. I do like it though, and I like the phrase identical differences. It's juxtaposition, and I'm in love with that. Are we actually on the table, or is that just on the floor? Okay. I just want to see if there's things we can explore. They've got weird glasses on. And we apparently 80, 865 calories below optimal. We should probably head to you the office. You think Japan will find out? Find About out what? what? About Frankfurt. I mean, it's a small leak, but still. I mean, you've Japan yet to notice knows. I am standing in Where'd front of you. Where'd you hear this? Assume Japan knows everything. It's safest that way. So what is this? Oh, they're like little, it's that time of the year again, we present our list of biggest and best corps to work for in Night City, Who's offers, who pays for employees. Oh, my game just crashed, so that's probably a good sign to stop. I'm hoping um, that it would have um, said, oh, we got a crash report, so I will send it because it is a new game. But, um, yeah, a good place to stop, I'm guessing, there. Now that we've got to there, we've just got past the character creation and menu settings. And then, um, basically, yeah, and we're next time we stream, which I'm hoping will be a little bit later or after work today, basically. Maybe at lunchtime. Maybe I'll do one at lunchtime, but I'll see how I feel. And, um, basically, yeah. That's what I'll do then. I uh, really appreciate anyone who's watching. This is stream is mainly for me. I don't really care who's watching. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it so far. I'm not going to lie. I was getting a little bit motion sickness, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. I might have to eye level my laptop out just a little bit just to see. But then otherwise we should be good. Um, I really do appreciate you watching. And then hopefully... Um, in the next one, we'll play more with the tutorial and not just look at the accessibility and things like that. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. See you later.